Hello, everyone. I am going to tell you a story. And I may be somewhat vague. I may not get really deep in some things. But let me tell you anyway. I was having, maybe I am going to be very vague. <laughs> I was having problems with someone. And I kind of figured it is demonic. And something happened let me see what time it is. I believe it happened today. And I am not going to give the date because, well, let me not give it. And I was texting that person and that person was texting me back. I could see that the text conversation was going nowhere. So I stopped after a while. Then something happened. Let me skip some things, of course something happened to where I thought it was that person still texting me and I was told by another person in so many words to rebuke what that person is telling you in that inbox. So in that person's inbox, rebuke it. And I started to do that. Then that person told me this is not a demon, blah, 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 blah. Then I believe after that, In that person's message, message, you know, when you message someone on Facebook, when you text them, you know, you can see the text or pictures or something like that. That person, and I am saying that person to make this easy to understand, that person sent me a picture of a demon. A very demonic picture of a demon. Not once, but I believe two or three times, maybe twice. Super evil looking. And... So, I believe in that person's message box, whatever you want to call it, I was rebuking and, and saying this and saying that. And I received a message from the same person. In so many words, that person texted me like, why are you saying all these things? And you may say, Kevin, what do you mean? What is really going on? Okay. So that person called me and 
I showed screenshots of what, of what I thought that person sent me. That person told me that they did not send that text, that picture, and all that stuff there. So that person sent me a screenshot, and I did not see, you know, when you delete a message, I guess they could delete the messages on their side, but I did not see the text when they sent me a screenshot i did not see the text and stuff that was sent to me if that makes any sense so what i messaged that person with I don't know if this makes any sense. To make this easy to understand, let me call that person, person B. So I showed person B what I text and what I thought person B text as well. Person B showed me screenshots one screenshot i believe of what that person text and what i text my screenshots had information that person's b screenshots didn't have and i kind of know person's b's character as well and that person would not send a demonic picture like that. So person B started to freak out a bit. And I told that person to not freak out. And I told that person that whoever it was, in so many words, that that demon or whatever sent me a picture of itself. And person B wanted to see it. So I was pretty much saying to person B, are you sure? Because I don't want you to freak out and blah, 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 blah. And when person B saw it, that person panicked you may say to me Kevin I don't believe what you are saying Kevin I don't believe it you may say well it was really person B that sent you those demonic pictures it was person B that did this and did that listen now we are in a spiritual war. And we can't think always conventional. We can't always think in that way. Me and person B were having so many issues so many issues and I was told by another person in so many words that that demon is the one that is responsible for blah 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 and around that time when I was explaining things to person B probably a bit before it too i could feel a very very evil presence and i believe person b could feel it as well was it that yes i think 
person B could fill it as well. We are at war. Those demons aren't playing around. They are playing for keeps. I know we may make mistakes. I know we may not be able to do everything rightly. Okay. But strive. Strive for perfection no matter what. Something like this is not really the first time something like this happened to me. I had something else happened to me on Facebook that I believe is very demonic, something similar to it, but not exactly like it. It was a video call, but maybe I will make a video on that one. But from my understanding, somehow, you may think that I am lying. You may think that whatever else like that. But if I am saying this correctly, somehow a demon was able to message me through another person's account, but in a way to where it did not really change on her side. This may not make sense and you may think I am lying. You may think I am telling stories for fun. But I believe this is very, very true. If you think this is a coincidence, now, I told you that a picture was sent, a demonic picture was sent through, to me, through Persons B message thing. Okay. That same picture, <laughs> that same picture was sent to me through another person's account. Like, three or four times, probably three, maybe three times. So how is it coincidental if I received that picture through person's B account and, and through another person's account? How is that coincidental? Not only that, to where I could feel with person B, um, not only with person's B situation, but the other person's situation too. I could feel a very bad evil presence. You may not believe in this. You may believe I am lying. But bring it to Jesus Christ. Ask him if I am telling the truth or not. I am not lying to you. I am making this video to inform you to stay in prayer. Stay trying to do what is right. Stay, I guess I can say, in God's graces graces i believe jesus christ is our protection i believe he is our comfort you know i teach and i try to help some people as well i pray too and I have, I push, not so much these days, but I encourage person B to pray and do that type of stuff as well. 
So if you are fighting against the enemy, do you believe the enemy is going to stay idle and let you do whatever you want to do? I don't think so. So stay in the fight. Keep your sword up as in live for Jesus Christ. Strive for, per, for, for perfection. Never give up. No matter how many times you fail, never give up. Never stop trying. Never surrender to the enemy. Let me stop here. God bless you.